I keep trying to tell y'all I'm a straight up thug. Listen, let me tell y'all how I walked in the rain for a straight barefooted. No shoes, y'all. The entire course. No shoes. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Okay. All right. I'm being a little dramatic, but no, for real. I had to do the whole course with no shoes on. Want to hear the story? Watch the entire video. But first, please subscribe, like, give me that thumbs up. It's important. And punch that notification bell for more videos. All right, come on. Let me tell y'all what happened. So my driver left with my tennis shoes in the car. They didn't explain that before you get to the canopy bridge. We just thinking you're just going over to the bridge and walking the bridge. No, it's, I have flip flops. So, look, I'm just gonna have to get out because I'm falling on knees and it's dangerous. So now, in the forest, with no shoes on. The ancestors can do it, so we cannot. So we decided to visit Cocoon Park. It is a um, rainforest in the central part of Ghana, not far from Cape Coast. And I heard about it the last time I was in Ghana in February and we didn't make it. So I wanted to make sure I went this time. Plus I had my entire family. So I figured why not? It'd be a fun day. Well, it was a fun day, but it was a bit of a workout. Um, as you can tell, we're all overdressed because we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. Had we known it was going to be a workout, like look at my shirt. I was sweating and everything. But had we known it was going to, going to be a workout, we would have worn workout clothing or something more proper. <laughs> we had bags on us, which was really like my camera and my purse. And my mother had her 50 million bags because she's such a bag lady. Joe had his big book bag with a bunch of random stuff in it. I don't know what we were thinking, um, but yeah the driver left so even if we wanted to put some of our stuff in the van it was we couldn't we were just out of luck so as we're walking and walking and walking i was like wait a minute this is a hike before you even get to the bridge the canopy bridge i thought it was like one of those things where you just go to this little park and you walk over to the bridge and you take a bunch of beautiful pictures. Now, don't get me wrong, the rainforest was amazing. Um, but it was a hike before you got to the canopy walk. And I don't know if it rained earlier that day or the day before, but it was it was wet. So I was slipping and sliding, and so I decided it was just too dangerous for me to try to do this with these little sandals on. So I took them off. And you see us here on the actual bridge. Now, I had no idea that this canopy bridge was this narrow, which is fine because like, I'm all about adventure. I'm not afraid of heights or anything. It was um, suspended, I believe, 98 feet above ground. Um, and as you can see, no shoes on. And you can only do like one foot in front of the other. It wasn't wide at all. Um, I would suggest people wearing gloves just because the ropes, like we had to do, we did the shortest course and it was 30 minutes and that was seven bridges. So it was like no turning back. You had to do all seven in order to get off and be done. But I would suggest, um, like I said, gloves because the ropes after, you know, eventually start like burning your hands a little bit, but no big deal. But we did it. It was fun. We were sweaty. We were tired. Um, from the hike we had to do prior to getting to this little narrow bridge. And then right here, the guy was telling us about um, the tree, the trees around, a big red tree. When you see like red wood, it comes from the trees. Um, and just giving us information on the park, how far we had walked, um, how many feet in the air the actual bridge was, and a bunch of, you know, information. Now, I can't recall anything because I was just a, just a tad bit stressed out just from having a bunch of stuff on me. The twins were stressing me out doing the most. However, they are very brave because they did the bridge with no problem. As you can see right here, no problem whatsoever. They had a lot of fun. Um, but it was just like keeping them organizing together and just, you know, four-year-olds being four-year-olds. But look at this beautiful view. It was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. So I'm glad we went. I would most definitely do it again. Look at Eric just being a leader. That was his, I believe, second time there. There's my mom, and then you see Joe. It was fun. I would definitely go back. So if you ever visit Ghana, 
check out Cocoon Park National Park. Um, like I said, Central Region of Ghana. Um, make it a day. Do that and then go to the Slave Castle. It can definitely be done. They're only like an hour away from each other. It's a lot of fun. And they also have other activities like longer hikes um, in the rainforest that you can get into. So I hope you like this video. Again, like, subscribe, hit that thumbs up and the notification bell for more videos soon. I share namaste. Bye.